So I'm going to use a permanent marker pen and we'll just have a little experiment. Um, so this is kind of, um, it's going to be quite interesting because I've kind of got this image in my head and I need to paint it really. And obviously this is a permanent uh, marker pen. So uh, this is not going to go away in any way, shape or form. And you can see um, it's also just going to stay there. It's not going to, as I said, it's not going to go away. Um, this is out of my head, as I said, there's no source in front of me. Kind of from memory. So it's really interesting when you try drawings like this. It's just quite freeing if you can see the way I'm holding the pen as well. It's the way we'd hold a pen to write, but this is actually on its side. It's the way I paint as well, to get a freer sort of style. So I'm not talking a moment, because I'm just kind of, not really concentrating, kind of in the zone. As I say, gone in now a bit closer. And these are kind of suggestions of buildings. And temples. The idea I had in my head was uh, uh, Venice, churches, spires. And then some water in here and probably a few kind of um, gondolas. We have to be careful and remember the water to work to the line. Hopefully that'll work. I don't want to colour these in too much, but there's some sort of suggestions of figures there in the boat. Sort of joined together as the gondolas go on along. Create a bit of movement. And that will probably be it on the drawing side of this pen. Except I want to create some sort of jetties and just some stronger banking lines to join all of that up. That's better. Um, a suggestion of perhaps a few more moored boats, perhaps. Cross over some of the lines. So you can see it's just all suggestion here. That will do. We'll stop there on the sketching. It's literally a five minute sketch. So I'm not happy with this figure. I should have had a source in front of me. This is kind of this is the kind of figure that I should have been really going for. Um, a 
so someone moving the gondola. Let's just have a quick see if these would work better. A bit of preparation might would have helped there, I think. Um, kind of idea I had was the head sort of bowed to one side of it. So a bit more energy and strain in there. Um, anyway, there's a few ideas. I don't think I can correct this now because the figure's going to look too big. So that's a bit of an error. Might be able to correct that with some some fluid, um, but we'll carry on anyway. So you can see where I was going with that. Should have had a bit of preparation in there first. Would have worked really well. So I'm going to see if I can kind of rescue this or wing this by bringing in some more lines here to kind of cover up this. So just correct it in here to make this look as if it's maybe a boat or something else in here. Let's put a few dots and we can pull that across and that might cover that up a bit, which is good. Not ideal, but works better um, than what we had before, to be honest. I'll do a bit drawn too much and then we go on to the painting so I've got some water I'm just going to use this flat brush I think um, and paint just move that to there so we'll look if we can see some of the some of the paints we need to shift this over a little bit do that. There we go. Um, so let's just quickly get in some colour. Work fast, just a bit of raw sienna. Let's pop that in coming all the way down to the horizon. Just weak water in there as well. simple. A little water there. Uh, let's go for some cerulean blue which you should be able to see. Yeah it's just here. Let's mix up a bit of cerulean. Drop the water. Seldom paint with flat brushes like this but this one was handy. just get kind of stuck into it really. Let's just have a bit more pigment in there, just drop that in so it can do its thing. There we go. Not gonna mess about. Just gonna join some of these shapes up which is a thing to remember. Just um, just think shapes all the way along the line really. Think of this all as shapes. I think I'm going to use the same um, colour, this cerulean. Just pop in a bit in there, that's fine, that's done. Uh, the same cerulean to echo what's in the water, and the same with the Rossiana. So I'm going to can see the, the broken white in here, look, just uh, because I'm going quite fast. So by swiftly going across you get broken uh, sparkle underneath, but you can only achieve that, whoops, if you go quite quickly you need to load the brush up and, and whip it across. And I want these little white specks to be there. some of this uh, Sir Rossiana 
just make sure it just merges slightly in places with um, the cerulean blue. That's kind of echoing what's in the sky coming down in here. Pop a little bit in, in places a little bit more. So it's kind of just going, going through just roughly uh, where it is in the sky. Don't need to be too precise about it. Just kind of drawing up some of these uh, shapes and that's probably just about it for that phase. So that's kind of like that done. And then we now need to make some decisions about uh, the buildings. So just probably gonna wait for this to dry now. <laughs> 